Hi everyone, this is Fiona from Eza Support Team. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the system drive on a laptop with the clone option of Eza's T2 Backup in 3 easy steps. The first step is to connect the new hard drive to the laptop. In order to do that, we need to prepare a new hard drive and a USB side adapter. You can also use an external hard drive enclosure case instead. Okay, this is the SSD I prepared and this is the adapter. Okay, now I'm gonna connect the SATA cable to the SSD. And connect the USB cable to the laptop. Now the first step is done. And the second step is to initialize the hard drive and actually run the clone process. It is necessary to initialize the hard drive in disk management to make a new hard drive usable. If you got everything properly completed in step 1, you will get a prompt message with two options, MBR and GPT in disk management. Just initialize the hard drive to the type equals to the source drive, like both MBR or both GPT. And now it's time for Isas to do backup to show you the magic. You just need to install and run it on the source machine and click the system clone option to start the process. The system boot related partition will be auto selected as a clone source. And you just need to select the new hard drive as a target. And please take the first option to ensure the SSD can get the best performance. And take the last option if the target hard drive is connected via USB to ensure the target will be able to boot after cloning. If you want to turn off the laptop after the cloning, you can just take this option to automatically shut down the PC once the operation is done. I know the speed of the clone concerns most users, however, since the speed varies in different cases, such as different hardware, different operating system, so there is no way to give you a certain answer. As a reference sample, it takes one hour to transfer one gigabyte data, and you can check the remaining time on this interface. Uh, this is a screenshot of our enterprise version. It is different, but you can also find the system clone option easily on the homepage. The last step is to remove the source drive from the laptop and boot from the new SSD. In order to do it, we need to prepare a screwdriver, use it to loose the screws, and open the panel. Some might ask if opening the panel will void the warranty. I can tell you the answer is no. Just find the hard drive and remove it. We need to also lose the screws from the metal enclosure. And take the hard drive out of it. Okay, now we can insert new hard drive. Okay, fix the enclosure with the screws. Plug it into the laptop, fix it, and close the panel. Okay, now you just need to boot from the new hard drive. If you still have any questions about this operation or need any assistance through it, just feel free to drop an email to support at isas.com or start an online live chat with us. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.